Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this video we are going to learn about how we can make a website in a offline mode with the help of Progressive Web App. All right? So this is our sixth video of the React and Progressive Web App series. So we have to do the three things in this video and uh, the whole game will be played around the caches. Right? So we have to set some files inside the caches and when we don't have any network then we can get these files from the caches all right and also we will test the how offline mode is will work in our website so this feature is mostly used in the mobile application or uh, you can see that the mobile devices because uh, when we are just traveling from uh, one area to another area then maybe sometime internet is not working between the outside the city you can say that right uh, so that that time our website should be work now let's see that how we can do it. So first of all, I am just going to open the incognito mode. So let's close close all the browsers and uh, just run our application npm start. And we will just test everything in the incognito mode because uh, there is a no caches issue. All right. So yes, this application work without the incognito mode also, but for the development mode, it should be great if we are using it in the incognito mode, right? So now just write here localhost colon 3000 port, right? And uh, in the network, uh, in the application service worker here, you can see that the, this, there is a service worker file is registered and these things we done in the previous video. Link is given in the description box if you just want to check our previous video, right? So when we are just making the file inside the cache they will be located here right so there is a no cache for now that's why there is a no files and all right okay so now what files we have to put inside the cache so i'm just going to make a refresh and now you can see that there's some files uh, which is just uh, coming around the network right like localhost bundle chunk and main chunk and all why i did not include the uh, sock js dot node because this is not useful uh, for in the cache this is just uh, development mode file or you can say that this is a tcp file so we can just leave it for a moment so now let's uh, come inside the uh, public folder and then open the sw file and just write the code from here right so i hope you remember that we made this video in the previous video this file in the previous video right so first of all let's first of all let's take any uh, variable right so just make it a cache cache data or anything that you just want to put the name and i just want to put here app v1 right and now we can just use here this dot add event listener and our event should be here uh, install and on that event we just want to perform some action that's why i just want to make the second parameter also so just write here event dot wait until and wait until uh, wait for 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 uh, caching the files right and uh, for that we just have to use here caches dot open and what we want to open we want to open this this cache so just write here cache data right and it will just return a promise that's why we can use here then and let's use a promise here so we can just pass any variable like cache and anything else right so just write here cache dot all add all and uh, it will just accept a array for the file that we just want to make the cache so here my first file can be let's check out the file again if you just want main file right and the path is here if you just want to check the path right so just simply write here this one file and the second file uh, can be main uh, zero dot chunk dot js right and uh, after that 
we have to make the cache for bundle file also so just write here bundle mm -hmm. right so and after that we just have to make the two more file in the cache one is index dot html and it should be followed by the slash and every file should be followed by the slash actually so just write here like this and at the last we have to just make the cache on the root also let's uh, just format it right so now let's come on the browser here and let's go on the application open the caches and here you can see that all file are caches here right so because it will just automatically refresh that's why we are able to see it so if you just want to delete it you can delete go to the service worker unregister it right and let's make it reload again right and uh, okay just remove it. this one file also and just make it reload and let's uh, here you can see that this is registered successfully and again the data is uh, file are cached here that's great how we can make the website offline now for that let's come again on the service worker or you can just go on the network option here you can just select the offline mode from here i'm just going to recommend this one because we have the old stuff here offline mode and try to load it now this is offline mode right but uh, these files are cached but now we have to just write here how we can just get them back from the cache also agreed so just come back to the code again this code is for uh, setting the file inside the cache and then now just write here this dot add event listener and here we have our event fetch and uh, now we can just use this event here and uh, we have a event dot respond with and uh, it will just respond with the cache file that's why I just use here cache dot match and here you can just write here event dot request right and uh, it will just simply return a promise and here we can just use here resp or response or whatever just want to put any variable and if check here if resp is uh, not undefined then return resp right so now let's check again so just make it hard refresh so that everything should be working fine and now here you can see that the file are cached here now go on the service worker make it the offline try to refresh it and we got a one error here so there is some problem with the bundle file so come back here and let me check yes we don't have a zero dot bundle dot js it's normally a bundle dot js right so go to the application make it normal refresh it properly right and now make it offline and try to reload it now you can see that even then we don't have any connection right even if you just open the youtube and uh, just come here the service worker just make it offline then you will see that this is not going to work the same way right because uh, we just make it the offline mode this is working fine great so uh, now if you just want to stop your uh, you can say that the uh, web app npm started then it will still work right that's great if you still have any kind of confusion about it so you can ask me in the comment box this video is about how we can make our website the offline and this is working fine and uh, in the next video there, there is we have the lots of topic like push notification network check and uh, api call and uh, lots of stuff uh, like uh, add to home button and all so don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care